What is going on, everybody? My lord, it has been quite a long day. Uh, we just made two selections a little while ago. I was on with my buddies over at 4th and John talking about it. But I uh, wanted to hop on here real quick and uh, yeah, just talk about these last couple picks before we make the last two we have coming up here at 224 and 234. Obviously, we did have four, and then we traded with Washington. So we ended up getting rid of 225 and 240 this year and acquiring a fifth-round pick next year. Um, some people were a little upset about this, but I'll be real with you. Um, you know, two guys that might not make the team for a guy that might make the team, and I'm not saying it doesn't really matter where you're drafted, but I'm just saying a much better talent. And look, we had a lot of picks. We talked about some of these moves being a possibility. So not a surprise there. Acquired a more draft capital for next year. I'm running on fumes here, guys. Literally slept about six hours the last uh, three days. That's insane. Uh, getting two hours of sleep a night. Last night was the worst up till 530. Regardless, um, I'm excited about this draft so far. I know a lot of names people don't know or guys that didn't want a lot of places, you know, maybe were questionable where they were taken. But I think, you know, overall, Howie's been doing pretty damn good looking toward the future. And that's what we need to do. We're getting younger, acquiring, uh, you know, guys that, might be depth at first, but will in the long run, you know, be a key piece this team. I think, you know, the last couple of picks people were really pissed off about, uh, you know, the second one I've been talking about for a while. So, you know, I'm excited to talk about Teron Jackson, but regardless, um, I was excited about that. And another defensive tackle. So people are like, why, what we have Fletcher and Hargrave and McGill and Ridgeway. Look, we got to get younger and that's what we're doing. And these are two pretty damn talented people. So, uh, I mean, I get it. It's not the guy that maybe, you know, you were looking at because there's a lot of names that are up there that are pretty popular. So I get it. But let's try to have some faith in these guys, loving the stories I'm seeing, loving their excitement to be part of the team. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's take a gander at the picks we did make. So at 189 here, you see old Marlon Tui Pilato. That's somebody that uh, Gail was supposed to be interviewing for our Talk to Prospect uh Thing we were doing over there with fourth and john but uh regardless uh he was a pretty cool dude uh but things happen anyways love him as a player um he's maybe a little bit uh i think he could fit regardless you know I, i'm not gonna say he's like the perfect kind of guy that we need right now uh but i really like you know wh who he is as a player um he's got those quick hands he's a pretty big dude burly guy um i, I really i'm not somebody that was huge on him. So I can't sit here and say that I know the most about him, but uh, from what I remember, uh, he was getting better with his pass rush. I know that wasn't something he was very great at, um, but he's a tough dude, hard nosed dude. I think that's what we're looking for in Philly here. Um, but he's not, like I said, his size isn't exactly uh, what we're, you know, usually, Oh, it's too small when you see someone this size. So not exactly a guy that I would say, you know, is going to have people buying his Jersey day one, but, um, you know, he's a tough dude, and he's somebody that I think could be a reliable piece of this rotation. So I, I like to pick. Um, Fletcher Cox, that cap hit is immense this year. We talked about possibly restructuring him, didn't do that. I don't know how long he's going to be around, and I love Fletcher, but I don't know if he still wants to keep getting that money. We'll see what happens, man. But very, very intriguing pick. Um, and I know some people feel a certain way, but I like him. Now, Teron Jackson, that's somebody we talked about, you know, one of my day three guys, one of my sleeper picks of this draft, somebody that got the most pressures in college last year, led uh, Coastal Carolina career sacks, a guy that I think a lot of people were sleeping on, 6'2", 260, you see there, uh, but he's a very strong dude, uh, got great arm length, something that, you know, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, but he's got a great spin. And I, I think he just sets his base right. He, uh, neat, you know, he beats the tackles. He beats ends. He, he does it all, man. I think you can move him around, um, but he's got a good pass rush. I, I think he's going to come in, kind of fill that Vinnie Curry role that we've been having. But he could be a star. Him and Josh Sweat together would be something that I think I would be looking forward to in the future. But um, he, he definitely needs to work on moving his opponents, uh, you know, getting off of the block. I just think there's certain things he could definitely work on that I saw. And 
you know I'm going to be posting those breakdowns and everything when we talked about them a couple weeks ago. But excited about the pick. Excited to see the next couple picks that we get here. So stay tuned. Let's hope Howie finishes this draft off right. I'll be back a little bit later, and we will talk about this draft as a whole, get our thoughts on it. And then I'm going to have some guests this upcoming week. Um, Chris Franklin will be coming on from NewJersey.com, one of the Eagles beat writers. Got a couple other guests So we're going to get their thoughts. Uh, Jeff Mosher is also supposed to be coming on. Don't know if that'll be next week or the week after, but we're going to get some of these guys' thoughts on this draft, get some of the professionals in here, see if they're feeling the same way I do or the same way you do. So I look forward to that. But thank you guys for liking, retweeting, subscribing, whatever you do to support. I really appreciate all of your support Me, of me. I I can't talk anymore, dude. I'm seriously running on fumes here, so. I'll probably pass out as soon as the last draft pick is made. But I will be back to talk about the finale here. So if you need anything, reach out to me. But I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. Go Birds!